Hi, welcome. We are here in 360 with Matt Swift, who is co-founder and chairman of Concordia. Thank Matt, you. Matt, great to see you. Great to see you. So you've done something very interesting with your organization. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about what Concordia is? Absolutely. Concordia is an institute that focuses on public-private partnerships, and we focus on public-private partnerships through three vehicles. The first is programming, where we're most known for, and especially the annual summit that we hold every year during the UN General Assembly that brings together leaders of both the public and private sectors talking about a wide array of issues facing our world. The second is our research institute, uh, where we're most known for our partnership index, where we rank governments around the world on which are the best to build public-private partnerships. And the third is something we started last year, which is our campaign series. And this is where we are actually brokering public-private partnerships for social impact. Fantastic. And so, for those of us who don't know, can you tell me briefly what a public-private partnership is? What's an example of one we might have seen? Of course your most obvious ones, which are infrastructure projects, new highway systems that might be built are oftentimes public-private partnerships. Uh, we've seen these become quite popular in the U United States. Um, but also, there's public-private partnerships that have very important societal impact. Uh, things like the engagement of the private sector after Hurricane Katrina or Hurricane Sandy in aiding the U.S. government in emergency response. Those are good examples where you might see public-private partnerships uh, develop as well. So we are actually in the process now of getting ready for our sixth annual Concordia Summit. Uh, it is how we started as an organization. We didn't start as a think tank. We didn't start as a brokering arm for public-private partnerships. We started as an annual summit in New York. Okay. Now, the first summit we hosted was on September 20th, 2011, and it was focused on the role of the private sector in combating extremism. We hosted it with President George W. Bush, and we really looked at what kind of engagement existed between the public and private sectors addressing issues um, that uh, were important to the global fight against extremism. Issues like youth unemployment, what is the role that the private sector should play, obviously, an essential role in combating youth unemployment as one example. Being a nonpartisan organization, the second year we hosted President Bill Clinton, where we really began to evolve as an organization focused on public-private partnerships more broadly. Last year's summit, uh, our fifth annual summit, featured 1,100 participants. We covered 37 different topic areas with 140 speakers ranging from Abdullah Abdullah of Afghanistan, Mukhtar Kent, the CEO of Coca-Cola, to Joe Biden, the Vice President of the United States. So it's a disparate community brought together talking about global issues and talking about the way with which public-private partnerships can address or tackle those issues. How is it that in such a short period of time you have managed to build such an incredible participation? The reason we've grown the way that we have grown is we've been strategic, we've been thoughtful, and we've been in constant engagement with the core leadership of this organization, which is our leadership council. And that's definitely what we're most known for. It has 11 former heads of state from around the world. They all come together uh, every year in New York. Fascinating. Well, we look forward to seeing what you produce. Thank you. And uh, it's been wonderful speaking with you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for joining us thank on you. 360. Thank you.